if you attend Nation Ford High School, there's a good chance you have seen this tower looming ominously in the distance. But what you may not know is the fascinating history behind it. Although it now looks out of place amongst the rows of cookie-cutter houses surrounding Nation Ford High School, this tower was once the epicenter of a massive scandal, which ultimately led to the foreclosure of an entire theme park and essentially ruined one man's entire career. Heritage USA is a 21st century Christian retreat center. That's what I call it. Celebrate with us, it's a new beginning. Celebrate with us, it's a wedding, yeah. With all these people here, it's just wonderful, it's beautiful. I just think it's great. I think it's the uh, greatest thing uh, to happen. Yeah, we just love it. It's just everything for everyone, and uh, just the atmosphere here is just terrific. This is my favorite vacation place. The Heritage USA theme park became the crown jewel of televangelist Jim Baker's PTL Empire, with PTL standing for Praise the Lord. However, he became embroiled in a scandal after it was revealed that he was mishandling the generous donations given to him by viewers of his show. He also became discredited after an apparent affair involving this woman, Jessica Hahn, who was employed as a secretary of his church. A significant portion of Jim Baker's scandal involved him overbooking people for rooms in the tower, which was not even finished at the time. However, he still kept their money, and when it all came into the light, the tower was never even finished at all, and it has been stuck in this unfinished state ever since. Heidi, a very dramatic day here at the Federal Courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. Really the culmination of what's become a national soap opera. The story of the country's most powerful televangelist caught up in a sex scandal charged with defrauding the viewers of his PTL network. It all ended with a shocking conclusion earlier this evening. Just before noon, the word came down and spread like wildfire. Jim Baker guilty on all 24 counts of fraud and conspiracy. Tension that had been building since Baker resigned as PTL president in March of 1987 had suddenly exploded. In the courtroom, Baker remained emotionless, while wife Tammy Faye quietly cried. After the fall of PTL Ministries, the church building itself became home to Morningstar Ministries, which now owns both much of the former theme park and the tower. However, much more remains of the PTL property than simply the tower and the church building. Although I'm standing in front of a pyramid, I'm not in Egypt, nor am I in Mexico, or even Las Vegas. I am right down the road from our own nation, Ford High School. And this pyramid building you see behind me was once the headquarters of Jim Baker's PTL Empire. However, it is now used by a couple of small offices, most notably the corporate headquarters of Laura Ashley. The pyramid is one of the best preserved remnants of the PTL property. Surrounding it are multiple recreational facilities such as a pool, playground, and tennis courts, and perhaps most notably, right through the trees over here is what remains of the Regent Park Golf Course. As we progress along this pathway, we come to a network of sidewalk which connects nearly all of the remaining portions of the Regent Park Golf Course. To our right, we see a tunnel which cuts under Regent Parkway itself, and as we head down this trail, we will come to a former sand trap as well as what used to be a bus stop for the Heritage USA theme park. The bus stop has not escaped the clutches of local graffiti artists, but it is nothing compared to a small utility shed just around the corner on the other side of a small pond, which in addition to having its roof removed from its foundation, has been absolutely ravaged by graffiti and vandalism. 
Although the shed has been emptied of nearly all of its former contents, much of the former PTL property has met a much harsher fate, being bulldozed and converted into housing developments, many of which may even be home to some of the viewers of this documentary. Although the thick summer foliage obscures many areas of the former golf course from view, it is still possible to catch a glimpse of them from the houses that now cover the former PTL property. In other areas, the golf course is quite easily visible from houses as it is literally their own backyard. Just off of the path around the golf course, it is not uncommon to find areas such as this where the local youth have taken to utilizing former trails as recreational areas for dirt bikes and four-wheelers. In many of these more desolate areas of the abandoned golf course, all that is audible might be crickets and the stir of the wind. This brings a certain peaceful solace to the atmosphere. As the golf course slowly returns to the nature from which it was originally crafted, wildlife has found many opportunities to thrive in the area, such as this eastern cottontail rabbit you see before me now. As we traverse the sidewalk which encloses the former golf course, it is not uncommon to cross bridges such as this one. However, this is one of the more intact bridges, as many have fallen into total disrepair in the absence of maintenance from golf course staff. Others, such as this one here, no longer lead to any specific destination, but are simply literal bridges to nowhere. This peaceful grassy field still very much resembles the golf course it used to be, but even from here, the tower is still visible in the distance, an ever-present reminder of how the wrath of God can easily strike down a man, even one as powerful as Jim Baker. It is a total living center as well. It's a place for retirement. It's a place for family vacations. It's a camp meeting grounds. It is a place for crippled children center. It's a girl's home for unplanned pregnancies. It's a street people center, Fort Hope. It's so many things that it's hard to just say in one sentence what it is. Han says the guilty verdict should prove to Jim Baker that he's not God, but just Jim. With this